Then came the Vietnamese New Year, Tet. The enemy chose this occasion to unleash well-coordinated attacks in several areas of the Republic. Everywhere, the Viet Cong were met with counterattacks. Striking treacherously where least expected, the Viet Cong brought the war to the cities of South Vietnam. Gunfire roared in the streets and panic spread throughout the population. The 11th Cav rose to the challenge and in a lightning fast road march from the area near Cambodia, raced to the defense of the embattled cities. There they supported the Arban troops, cutting off enemy escape routes. The city of Binh Hoa was secured by the armored assault of the 3rd Squadron, in which the enemy was routed in house-to-house -house fighting. The 11th was also sent to the defense of the capital, Saigon. Large areas of the capital's residential section had been laid to waste by concentrated Viet Cong rocket attacks and mortar bombardment. The people, displaced, wandered aimlessly through the district. In the midst of all this, the fighting continued as military police patrolled the city. Day and night, in the alleys and in the streets, the relentless hunt for Charlie carried the armored cavalrymen into every nook and cranny of the capital. The enemy was forced to give ground with appalling losses. forces distinguished themselves during the Tet campaign, acting aggressively to free their cities. Wherever they went, they were solidly backed by armor, often that of the 11th Armored Cavalry or their own armor. A few days after the initial attacks, the Arban began to retake and free the cities. Soon it became evident that communications had been secured. The bridges remained open. Once again, traffic began to flow with armored vehicles everywhere. The Cholan area, the so-called Chinatown of Saigon. Here, after the first victories at Binh Hoa and Saigon, the 11th Cav stayed in the thick of the fight. Troopers of the Black Horse moved methodically from block to block, probing into every building along the way. Finally, it became apparent the Viet Cong had left the area, and there would be no more battles in the streets. As the cities were pacified and the people could begin to pick up the blasted pieces of their lives, the Valorous Unit Award was granted to the 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment by the Secretary of the Army. In part, it said, The 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment was a major factor in eliminating the enemy threat. The men of the regiment displayed extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty, which are in keeping with the highest traditions of the military service. And so the tide of Tet was quickly turned from threat to opportunity as the Allied forces launched crushing blows against the enemy in the Third Corps area. Wherever Viet Cong underground fortifications were discovered, they were blown sky high. In Operation We Are Than, which means resolve to win, 
the men of the Black Horse, together with the 25th Arvin Division, moved northwest of Saigon. The Arvin troops, with confidence, went in after the enemy. Here the tanks and ACAVs maneuvered like cavalry and did so for 41 straight days, supporting the Arvin troops wherever they went. There was a lot of hard, dangerous work ferreting out the Viet Cong. The enemy, long in control of this area, had over a period of years burrowed into the earth, creating a labyrinth of underground fighting and sleeping positions. Searching through this complex was not only difficult, but time-consuming. In every way, the Black Horse Regiment had earned its spurs. By early spring 1968, the Black Horse insignia, granted under fire in Vietnam, became a symbol of valor. Searching for communist mines was an unpleasant task. In order to maintain regular convoys, the roads were checked by minesweeping teams every day. The enemy operating under cover of darkness would plant mines along the most heavily traveled roads despite the best efforts of our patrols. A portion of the road safe today was unsafe tomorrow. Almost every mine sweep uncovered something lethal. A Chinese communist 20 pound mine big enough to blow the tracks off an ACAV. Once uncovered, these mines were destroyed by demolition experts using charges of plastic explosives. For these men, this is the daily war, the no headline war of nerve-wracking uncertainty of constant plodding and searching where every footstep may lead to injury or death. This is modern mine warfare, brought to new dimensions by a cunning enemy. Despite everything, however, the 11th Armored Cavalry continues to forge ahead. In a land where even the earth itself fights against men and machines, the vast logistics of maintenance and repair keep them rolling. In the open country, through the jungles, in the cities. Throughout the Third Corps area, or wherever they are needed, the men of the regiment fight on for freedom with the help of armored mobile firepower. These are the men who proudly wear the insignia of the 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment in Vietnam. Symbol of valor, the Black Horse Patch.